Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Cedric and on this channel I document my journey going through a computer science master's program. Now today I'm going to be talking about my first virtual hackathon experience. Now it's kind of a double first because one, it's also my first hackathon experience, but also it's my first virtual one as well. So it's very interesting and it's specifically to my program, which is MCIT, otherwise known as the Master of Computer and Information Technology program. So this hackathon was the spring hackathon and it was the beginning of this month and I was curious what it exactly was. Like I've heard of what previous hackathons were in the program as well as what a hackathon is when I was in college and I didn't really know what to expect. Like is there a lot of coding involved? Is it like staying up all night? But I actually had quite a pleasant experience which I'm going to share with you today. So specifically in this program, MCIT Online, they have a student club where it's made up of all the MCIT Online students and they even actually have a committee about education and learning who actually hosts this hackathon experience. So the fact that this was hosted by the Education and Learning Committee kind of set the tone for what I was expecting to get out of this experience. Now for one thing, I'm really into education and learning, hence why I talk so much about it, especially about computer and data science on this channel, but I think there is also a bunch of other benefits that people can really get out of the experience. So not only is a hackathon an opportunity to learn more or even apply what you've learned in the classroom, but it's even a chance to even compete for potential prizes and add projects to your resume or even showcase your exact project to industry and academic professionals. So I began this hackathon after my first semester, which was in the fall, and I didn't really know a lot of people and plus I only took one class by then, so I didn't really know what project I was looking forward to make. Luckily there was an option where you could state that, what your basic skills are or whether you're looking for a partner and you can be assigned to a group and that was really helpful for me because I didn't know where to start or how to even begin a hackathon experience. Now since this is an online program, it's typically a virtual experience and what kind of came out of that was actually collaborating with different people who were outside of my time zone. So I learned a lot about collaboration, whether it's trying to set up a meeting with someone in a different time zone or trying to learn Git and version control with using GitHub in a repository. Now all this code is publicly available on my GitHub. You can just click the link in the description and it'll send you to that repository. But the main project was a simple COVID-19 risk factor predictor. Essentially, we wanted to make a user-friendly COVID-19 risk factor predictor. Basically something you could visit a website, click some select down menus, and then it'll generate from a scale of one to 10 how high of a risk your subgroup is for COVID-19. We use publicly available data sets from the CDC and we use different frameworks. So we had a web development side, so HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, as well as some programming with Python. And even I had to learn Flask, which was a very interesting kind of Python framework where you could connect it with web development and it's a lot of backend stuff. So it was a whole lot of fun to learn. And to remind you, like at that point, I only had some programming experience in Python. So I really got to learn a lot of web development and some basic Flask, which I hope to use more in the future. But it was fun just learning it with other colleagues as well as trying to figure out what is an effective product and what kind of question do we hope to solve with this project that we're collaborating on. Now everyone who participates in the hackathon gets a participation prize and I believe what I got was a free course on Udemy which is kind of like a Skillshare website where you can learn more about different programming concepts or different frameworks so I definitely plan on using that in the future. Now there are many other very awesome projects which I really hope and aspire to uh, create in the future something similar like that and I was just honestly very inspired by just the diverse range of skill sets, of regions, of people collaborating with one another, all to make different projects in this virtual hackathon experience. 
I think definitely one of the advantages of this hackathon was one, it was right before the semester started. So it was just good to slip that in. It was about four days in length and definitely the virtual kind of aspect made it very accessible and very easy to collaborate and schedule and even work on projects to upload and submit. If I were to do another hackathon experience, I would definitely be more intentional. I want to know what kind of question I want to solve and what kind of languages and frameworks I had in mind. Since this was my first experience, I kind of was just open to anything and just kind of helped wherever I can. But in the end, I still had a great learning experience. So to kind of just wrap it up, I had a great experience and I think definitely I want to give props to not only the program, but also the education and learning committee for just hosting it and the judges who were academic and industry professionals for judging the projects. I think I was just pretty amazed by how the whole thing was organized and delivered effectively to serve people all across the world on a hackathon experience that they probably couldn't get in person. And through that, I was able to not only meet new people in my program, but learn some new languages and frameworks and actually have something to put on my resume. And I even got a reward in it, the Udemy course that I can use later on. So I recommend anyone who's interested in a hackathon experience just to give it a try. You don't have to know anything. And even if you know a lot, like you can be willing to learn a whole bunch of different stuff. It can be very unique and tailored to your experience and your needs. And if for some reason your college or your program doesn't offer a hackathon opportunity, I suggest you can find many of them online or you can even just form one yourself. For me, the hackathon experience was just a great period of time to learn about collaboration, uh, compete for rewards, learn a lot, try and showcase the skills that you've been learning. And I just recommend it for anyone who's interested in looking at all aspects of tech, not only just technology, but trying to offer a service, trying to understand management skills, trying to understand communication, how are you gonna display and promote your product? It really is a very holistic and multifaceted approach to learning with technology. But anyways, that's just my first impressions for my first virtual hackathon experience. What do you guys think? Are you interested in getting into one? Do you plan on joining one soon? Do you wish that you had one in your own college or program? Please let me know down below. Anyways, if you're new to this channel, my name is Cedric. I make videos that document my academic journey through a computer science master's program. I make videos about lifestyle and education. And if any of that interests you, please consider subscribing. But anyways, thanks for watching.